This is Lesson 8.4 Trigonometry. Your objectives are to find trigonometric ratios using right triangles and to use trigonometric ratios to find angle measures in right triangles. The ratio of the lengths of two sides of a right triangle is called a trigonometric ratio. The three most common ratios are sine, cosine, and tangent, which have the given abbreviations. Each of these has a formula. Sine of the angle equals the opposite leg over the hypotenuse. Cosine of the angle equals the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse. And tangent of the angle equals the opposite leg over the adjacent leg. Keep in mind, with trigonometry, you will be asked a lot of different types of questions. So you need to make sure you know what you're being asked and that your answer fits the format of what you're being asked. Sometimes you're asked for a side length. Sometimes you're asked for an angle measure. And sometimes you're simply asked for the ratio. So your answer could be a fraction using the side lengths that they give you. Always answer the question being asked. So in this triangle, I have right angle T, and I'm taking my trigonometric ratios with respect to angle R. Now I need to identify the opposite leg, the adjacent leg, and the hypotenuse. The opposite leg is the side that's opposite angle R. If I draw across the triangle, then that side is the opposite side. If I draw across from the right angle, that side is the hypotenuse. And the leg that's next to angle R is the adjacent leg. So always start by identifying the side lengths of the triangle as opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. The formulas for sine, cosine, and tangent can be remembered very easily using this shortcut. SOH, CAH, TOA, SOCATOA. SOH stands for sine is opposite over hypotenuse, which in this figure the opposite is length R, and the hypotenuse is length T. Ka stands for cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. In this figure, the adjacent is S, and the hypotenuse is T. S over T. Toa stands for tangent equals opposite over adjacent. In this figure, opposite is R, and adjacent is S, R over S. Sokotoa. It's a very easy way to remember the three formulas. Find sine J, cosine J, and tangent J, sine L, cosine L, and tangent L. Give your answers as fractions and as decimals. Here we're looking for the trigonometric ratio, so our answer will be a fraction and a decimal. Start with angle J. When I use angle J, let's identify opposite adjacent and hypotenuse. The side opposite angle J is opposite. The side opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. And the leg that's adjacent to angle J is adjacent. Start with sine. Sine of j equals opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite is 12 and the hypotenuse is 20. That reduces to 3 fifths and as a decimal that's 0 0.6. Cosine of j equals adjacent over hypotenuse. 
adjacent is 16, hypotenuse is 20. That reduces to 4 fifths, which is 0 0.8. Tangent of J equals opposite over adjacent. Opposite is 12. Adjacent is 16, which reduces to 3 fourths. And as a decimal, it's 0.75. Now let's do the same thing for angle L. I'm going to have to re-identify my sides. With angle L, the side across from that angle is opposite. Before, 12 was opposite, but that was opposite angle J. Now 16 is opposite, which is opposite angle L, which is what I'm using now. The side across from the right angle is the hypotenuse, and the leg next to angle L is adjacent. Now let's find sine, cosine, and tangent using the formulas they give you. Sine of L equals opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite is 16. The hypotenuse is 20, which reduces to 4 fifths, and as a decimal, that's 0 0.8. Cosine of L is adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is 12, hypotenuse is 20. That reduces to 3 fifths which as a decimal is 0 0.6. Tangent of L equals opposite over adjacent. Opposite is 16. Adjacent is 12. That reduces to 4 thirds, and as a decimal, that's about 1.33. So use your sine, cosine, and tangent formulas and substitute in the side lengths for opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. You can use a calculator and the sine, cosine, or tangent to find the measure of an angle, called the inverse of the trigonometric ratio. When you use a calculator, make sure that your calculator is in degrees, not radians. On a TI-83 calculator, push the mode button and make sure that degrees is highlighted instead of radians. If radians is highlighted, then go down and make sure that you switch to degrees. Otherwise, your answers won't be right. Find each angle measure to the nearest degree. Number 2. Sine of A equals 0 0.5150. Here we're looking for the angle measure, so our answer will be in degrees. I'm solving for the angle, which is A. With the A, I have sine. I want to get rid of sine, so A is by itself. So I have to do the opposite operation of sine. The opposite operation of sine is arc sine. So I need to take the arc sine. That is sine with the negative 1 on it. To get to that, push the second button and then the sine button, which has sine negative 1 above it. That's the arc sine. And I'll take that of 0 0.5150. When I punch that in, A is approximately 31 degrees. Number 4.
cosine w equals 0.6157. I need to do the opposite of cosine, which is arc cosine. So w equals cosine negative 1. So I hit second and the cosine button of 0.6157. And that's approximately 52 degrees. Remember, when you're looking for the angle measure, do the inverse function, the arc sine, the arc cosine, or the arc tangent. The inverse gives you the angle measure. Number six, tangent of W equals 19.0811. To solve for W, do the opposite of tangent, which is arc tangent. Hit the second and then tangent button. Arc tangent of 19.0811, and that gives you approximately 87 degrees.